if you've never seen me before hi my name is yuki and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back in today's video guys i will be trying the new black radiance foundations to all of our melanin queens hashtag my shade is everything it says the color perfect foundation stick is the ultimate accessory to chisel your face to perfection inspired by contouring shaping and shading this duo is essential to sculpt and create dimension for the face. Includes a foundation on one side and a blending brush on the other. The True Complexion contour palettes are down here. You have to wind it up from here because down here we've got the brush. Oh, and it's slanted. Bristles are quite firm. On here it says that they are $10.49, available at CVS, Rite Aid, Target, Walgreens, Walmart, and other retailers nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. <laughs> That is how much product we have. Now, for it to be $10.49 for that much product. Hmm. So this is bronze glow. Next up, we have cappuccino. Ooh, I thought I was gonna be cappuccino, but I think I was wrong about that. I don't know the words to the song because it doesn't exist. Next up, we have a brownie. Dun, 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 dun. So this is beautiful bronze right here. Why are my swatches slanted? I told you guys, I'm not really great at swatches. Next, we have cashmere. I love the name cashmere. I don't know why, <laughs> but this is cashmere right here. And this is cocoa bean. Ah! I'm so sorry, I'm really not the best at swatches or not my strength, okay? <laughs> and then we have espresso. Espresso is deep. Wow, look at that jump. And then we have chocolate dipped, which is this gorgeous, rich tone here. The jump between cocoa bean and espresso is real. So I'm gonna swatch the first four on my face from darkest to lightest. This is beautiful bronze. I feel like I'm most likely gonna be leaning towards that. And then we've got brownie. Brownie is not quite my undertone. And then we have cappuccino. So I am definitely going for beautiful bronze because out of all of these that I've swatched, it has the most golden undertones. Let me just swatch bronze glow on here just for giggles. And that's bronze glow, which is too light. Before we move on, I just wanna show you guys their True Complexion Contour Palettes. This is the light to medium, and that is what it looks like. Here is the medium to dark, and I love that they have this diagram up here. It tells you what to do for each um, product. And this is their new palette, the dark to deep. I will be using this one. I feel like the Sculpt Powder is gonna be great to bronze with for my skin tone. And yo, I might try to highlight is looking banging. Wait a minute. Let me find out. Hold up. It is gorgeous. It's a little dark for me, but I can still work it. You know? Yo, low key, I can actually get away with the medium to dark as well for the contour though. The sculpt is too light for me. Oh, and by the way, the True Complexion contour palettes retail for $8.49. Here is my BoxyCharm box for the month of February. Um, There's some stuff in here that I'd like to try. The No Poor, No Poor Blum. I'll get it because problem, poor blum. Okay, the No Poor Blum primer. It's a smooth and pore covering top secret for perfect makeup by Touch In Soul. They also included the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've heard so many good things about this mascara, but never tried it. So I am very, very excited to check it out. Tristic Prime and Color Lip Glaze. Looks like magnetic. Oh my gosh, I could do this all day. Boop. And then they included the Pretty Vulgar Shimmering Swan Sparkling Sass Highlighter. Came with this Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. So let me try out this primer. It doesn't come with any like directions, so I'm assuming I can just apply it like any other primer. It smells like something I've used before, but like a skincare item. Oh, there we go. Whoops, what I grabbed most of. So there is the true consistency, not the one that I first squirted out. Smoothing, I feel like I'm putting on a moisturizer, a more slick moisturizer. Like my skin feels so smooth, but slippery a little bit. It's possible this does have silicone in it because I'm getting a bit of that like 
siliconic feel. So I'm gonna apply Beautiful Bronze. I will try to use their brush, but I can already tell like it's not really my kind of brush that I like to use to blend out my foundation. This is what I miss about like foundation sticks is just being able to like draw on your face like this and not care. I guess you just, oh no, oh no baby, no. Mm -mm. Let me pull out my regular foundation brush. <laughs> <laughs> that would just take me too long to try to blend out. I applied quite a bit. I would definitely call this medium coverage. Yeah, this was my shade. See, I'm trying to really concentrate it as much as possible to the middle of the face. With as much as I'm using, I would burn through this thing very fast. I can already tell. I'm a full coverage snob, I'm sorry. It's just in my DNA, okay? Don't blame me. Okay, what I'm noticing is in some parts where I'm going to blend it out, it's deleting the coverage, basically. <laughs> Let me just pat it on. I think that'll be better so I can preserve the coverage. I must admit, you guys, this has a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous finish. All right, beautiful bronze. You're so beautiful. Ah. Okay, so I just went and tried to like clean up above my brow and I noticed it took off some of that coverage. Definitely you cannot get away with swiping. You have to pat if you want to keep your coverage as much as possible. Oh, that looks nasty. I will be using the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Flaming Love Palette and it looks like this, yes. I'm gonna use this orange from the Ofra and Francesca Tollet collaboration. This is the Infinite Palette, yeah. Use circular motions to blend out the edges. Using my Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush, I'll be using this shade here. And blend this out. I like your little sexy style. Girl, you getting wild. Girl in the club with me. Dun, 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 dun. Question, why is Sammy not on this tour? And people are like, oh, Bow Wow should be on it, but I feel like Bow Wow. This shade here and pat that right in there. To deepen things more, just a tad bit, I'm gonna use this shade, place that right in here. I'm gonna go back to my foundation and blend it out. And I'm doing this to blend away any creases that may have occurred. To highlight, I'll be using the Maybelline Age Rewind. This is the shade Tan. I've really been enjoying this uh, Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Flower Powder. Going back in, I'm gonna use this shade here to my lower lash line. Just gonna stamp it on. Next is my Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Now for the True Complexion Contour Palette, I'll be taking the Sculpt shade. This is the Dark to Deep palette. So bronze with that. This is nice. My only concern though, this contour might be too dark for me. Very lightly, like barely, just barely touched it. Start from way back here and work my way. For inner corner highlight, I'm going to take this yellow gold here. Oh wait, these have names. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is so pretty. I can't. You guys, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> I'm minding my business, trying to put my lashes on, and I can hear my neighbors from upstairs. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. So these people are very loud. I can always hear their adult activities, and it's very frustrating. <laughs> so I'm sitting here in my filming room, putting my lashes on, minding my business, and I'm hearing sounds. And I'm like, bro, please don't tell me that's them. And sure enough, it is. The fact that I can all, like, the fact that I can hear them from my bedroom, Fine, okay, their bedroom is directly on top of mine. But there was another time I was on the phone with a friend in my living room and I could hear them from my living room. Now I'm in my filming room and I can hear the nonsensical nonsensities that are coming from your mouth and from your bed creaking. In fact, get a new bed. Second of all, shut up. Get us Move to a soundproof area, something. That's not even what annoyed me. So I went and grabbed my broom to hit the ceiling like so they can get it like yo y'all are too loud plus their bed creaks every freaking time right i use the broom because this is not the first time i've used that broom okay so you know try to hit the ceiling like you know with the top part of the broom the hard part this is not the first time and i've been meaning to actually write a note and leave it on their door like hey we can hear you everybody <laughs> I've been meaning to leave the note on the door, but you know, I didn't hear anything for a while, so it just kind of escaped my mind. When I used the broom to hit the ceiling, they had a they had the nerve to knock back. They had the nerve to knock back. Like, how dare you? You're the one disturbing me. Imagine if I had guests over and they were they could hear that. 
like there are things that are mistakes and then in other instances there are things where it's you know lack of common courtesy essentially so now i'm irritated and i need to figure out how to deal with this because i don't want to tell like my leasing office and start a new drama or anything like that because that's the one thing i do not like and hopefully they get the hint and buy a new bed and the lady can stop being so loud that would be great it would be wonderful <sighs> sorry i had to say this in this video i just had to vent and you know you guys are here so if you've ever encountered something like this let me know how i can address this in the most stress-free, drama-free way. Thank you. Oh, I see the glow. The glow is blinding. Pretty. Oh my gosh. You, ooh, ooh. One time, for the one time, for the two time, and the three time. This is my new travel palette for bronzing, contour, and highlight. This is lit. I, like. Oh, Black Radiance, you guys did that. Like, I can't, I can't. For lipstick, I wanted to try out this Bare Minerals, new Bare Pearl Longwear lipstick. They sent me this box here. It's missing two because I swatched those to see what I want to wear for this look. So I'm gonna be using the shade Blackberry. But first, first I'm gonna line my lip and I'm using the ColourPop and I Love Sarai collaboration called Mamacita. So this is a shade Blackberry. Ooh. Okay, the lipstick has a bit of a smell, but like it's not bad. It's not like a floral or pleasant smell either. It's almost like a chemical-ish, a makeup smell, basically. I forgot to try out the Too Faced mascara, so I'll use it in another video. I am really loving the way my complexion looks. It looks like how I normally like it to look. I like a bronzed feel, you know? The contour is a bit dark but it's workable. Again, love the finish of the foundation. My only concern right now is I can anticipate that I'm gonna have some separation in my smile lines. The finish is very beautiful, and I think for the price point, it seems to be a really, really good deal. However, I feel like I would go through this pretty quickly, especially taking in the amount I had to apply to get the coverage that I wanted. I could, I could definitely burn through this fast. Oh, and then my other concern was the fact that it jumped so much. And even on the paper, you can tell, I didn't need to swatch it to know there's a huge jump between, um, what is this color? Cocoa bean and espresso. Some people might feel some type of way about this simply because they feel like, oh, it's, it's excluding people with lighter skin tones. However, I believe this brand does lean more towards like medium, dark, deep skin tones, so. But it was my first time trying out Black Radiance products. And I will say this is a very good first impressions, especially, especially freaking Lee. This palette right here, I'm gonna, I'm not lying, I'm, I'm literally gonna use this for travel. Like, what, what did you, what did you think this was? Like, it's lit. What else do I need? Like, I don't have to carry a separate highlighter, I don't have to carry a separate contour color, I don't have to carry a separate bronzing powder, everything is just right here. This is a drugstore brand and I know drugstore foundations for the most part tend to be very, very hit or miss. However, I do think so far that this is a pretty good stick foundation. My only other concern aside from the shade range jump is also, how do I put this? It seemed like whatever I used on top of the foundation, if I wasn't careful, it would like erase the foundation. So it's not, it doesn't seem to be a foundation that sticks on and dries down enough. Yeah, it doesn't feel heavy on the face. That's the one thing. It does not feel heavy on the face at all, but you just have to like kind of finesse it a little bit when it comes to making sure that you're keeping your coverage at the level that you want it. The brush applicator, I did not care for at all. That's just me. I'm gonna wear this for a few hours and come back and see how it holds up. Unfortunately, it will not be an eight hour wear test simply because the day is already gone. <laughs> but I did look at the time of when I set the foundation and it was 8.30, so. I'll be back. I'll try to make it four hours. Okay, you guys, really quickly, I just realized that these lipsticks dry down matte. It's kind of weird. Obviously, it's not a liquid lipstick, but it dries down matte and look, nothing. 
you guys see anything? I don't. That is so cool. I I would have never guessed it. Like it's literally matte and it feels really comfortable. It says the first longwear vegan lipstick rich in nourishing minerals delivers a double dose of pigment in one super soft swipe and locks color in place for up to eight hours. Well then, go ahead, bare minerals. What? What? I like this. I like this a lot. I'm very happy about this. Okay, anyway, let me go complete the rest of my wear test and I will be back to talk to you guys. All right, you guys, the time is currently 1 a.m. My night mode is on. That is why you see it has a yellow hue. This is what we're looking like at four and a half hours. And I must say it did actually hold up pretty darn good for especially for a stick foundation so i do have combination skin i do tend to glow more to the t-zone um around my nose the areas around the nose and also the chin everywhere else it's pretty much dry i don't want to call it normal but i would say dry because my skin does tend to be dry or my skin's dehydrated i feel like it's probably more dehydrated than dry anyway i do not mind looking dewy and right now i am looking quite dewy and i don't mind it however i do feel like would this foundation last 12 hours on me i don't know i really wish i was able to do an eight hour wear test but i didn't get a chance to so at four and a half hours i do have a bit of separating right here in my smile line I'm losing a little bit of coverage around the mouth, a bit of separation in the chin. This is the one foundation stick that has actually been a very, very close match to my skin tone. I'm very happy with this. I can see myself rocking this. Now, would I wear this for something super duper duper important? Like, let's say I'm at a wedding and I know I'm gonna be gone all day for eight to 12 hours. I probably would not reach for this, but if it's something where I'm gonna be out for, you know, five hours, six hours, I could see myself comfortably wearing this. If you do have oily skin and you do not take extra measures to ensure that your makeup is matte, then I probably would not suggest this foundation stick for you. But if you have normal or dry skin, it is a plus from me. After four and a half hours, I have some crumbling down in here, a bit of loss of pigment. Do keep in mind, I did not eat these last four and a half hours. So I'm assuming that if you're eating, especially anything that's oily, greasy, what have you, this is going to come off. I can pretty much guarantee it. This is one of those lipsticks that I would suggest throwing in your bag or your purse for the road because you will have to reapply. But I am very, very impressed. I've never seen a lipstick like this that was a solid lipstick and dried down matte the way this does and it feels super lightweight and comfortable let me wind it up all the way for you so you see how much product you're getting i do not know how much these retail for but i will find out and display it on the screen for you so you can see and check it out but i'm really really liking this as far as the pigmentation in order for me to have gotten it to be this deep i did have to like you guys saw me like lat slathering it on but that i don't really mind especially knowing it's gonna dry down matte so yes that is it for this video you guys i'm so sorry i didn't get to do a longer wear test but i think you have a pretty good idea of how this will look simply by this halfway mark. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe as you please. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Yuki underscore. That's Y-O-U-K-E-Y-Y -Y underscore. Thank you so much for hanging out with me once again, and I hope to see you in the next video. Lord willing, stay blessed. Bye.